Hello friends, welcome to IT Techie. My name is Chandra Sharma and today I am going to talk about some cloud services which are provided by DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is providing cloud services on Linux platform and some other products are there. So I am going to share how to create account in DigitalOcean through reference link. If you are going to create account with reference code, you will get $50 for a month. You can see the reference code in my below description. If you are new in my channel, kindly subscribe my channel to see something techy, to see something new. So let's start. First of all, you have to open the browser and paste the reference code which is mentioned in my below video once you clicked on reference code it's showing that home screen of DigitalOcean these are the product and services which are provided by that company here is the option for sign up you have to click here if you are using the below reference code you will get this message means you will get $50 created for a month so there is two options for sign up one is that manual detail like you have to mention your full name here your email id and password whatever you want to set here click on sign up and another option is there is to create an account through google so i prefer to use that option because it's easy to manage the things so click on google So here you have to put your gmail account details so first you have to enter your email id then click next here you have to mention your gmail account password Now here you have to put your bank details like here you can see that message please ensure that you will able to see that message in your screen when you are going to create your account that means you have to add your card details bank details means and you will get uh, $50 credit in your account for 30 days only so here you have to mention your card details otherwise there is an another option it's paypal you can also use paypal so we are going to enter card details here and it's asking for the expiry date of card it's zero six and cbb code these all the details are confidential so please do not disclose any kind of bank details with anyone here you have to mention the billing uh, address like your first name last name address whatever address is there Here you have to mention your state and postal code now you have to select your country and your phone number now you have to click on save card once you click on that it is going to validate with your own bank so here you have to wait for some time now it's showing that your payment method successfully ended now here you can uh, like see uh, the things welcome chandra sharma here what kind of project name you want to give and these are the products which are provided by digital ocean you can take a look these are the monitoring tools other cloud providers So now here you have to enter the project detail whatever it is I am going to enter my project detail 
here I have to select the purpose and these are the configuration tool like what kind of things you are interested in. and here you can mention your organization size if there is no organization size you can click on just me and click start dashboard actually you can see all the details here here you can uh, create uh, new droplets like here these are the things these are the management section here you can create the droplet and in my next upcoming video I am going to show you how to create a droplet of Unix operating system and uh, then another video I am going to show you how to install Windows operating system in DigitalOcean account so meanwhile you can uh, take a look of your account so friends this is your dashboard this is my project name this is the manage like droplets volumes data bases space images network monitoring these kind of things you can see here and another marketplace then here is the account details so in, uh, you can click on profile you can see your account details here we can increase the droplets if whenever you want here is the billing section you can see here I got the $50 credit because I am using reference code if you are going to use that reference code you will get $50 credit for one month just here you can see your billing details here you can see the things so hope you will enjoy this video and if there is an issue any problem you are getting in this kind of video i am requesting you to please comment on uh, below video if you like my video kindly subscribe my channel share my video thank you and keep watching to see something new to see something techy thank you